Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can adjust the under knives for your guillotine to get a, high, a nice, crisp, perfect cut. So I'll just remove the top protective plate here. Of course, on the guillotine you've got your top knives and they only do half the work. The other half of the cutting action actually comes from the under knives, is what, you, what the rebate supports slide along here. So when you take your rebate support out here, this is actually called the under knife and it actually works like a scissor action and I'm just going to put a foot on the pedal here and you can see that comes down like a scissor action and cuts the moulding. Um, now this needs to be absolutely perfectly um, pushed up so there shouldn't be any gap there. There should not be any gap to even fit a piece of paper in between the two knives, the top knife and the under knife. So this under knife here, this is uh, adjustable. When you change blades and you might have changed your top top blades on your guillotine, they can vary in thickness um, from manufacturer to manufacturer, batch to batch, and so it's not uncommon to then maybe have to close a gap here with your under knife. So the way that can be done, once you blow all the dust out of here, I like to put my foot on the pedal and bring those um, blades all the way down so they're not exposed, so I don't hurt myself here. I may even choose to lock them, so there's a lock on this guillotine so I can lock them down confidently. You blow the dust out of these um, holes here, and these are 5mm um, bolts. So I'm using a 5mm Allen key, and you can loosen these off. So we can um, go in and we can loosen these off. You might find that they're really, really tight, so you might have to really work to get them off for the first time if they haven't been done. But once they're loose, you will find that this is on, they're on floating holes, which gives you an adjustment to be able to move them in and out. Okay, And if that's the case, what we can then do on each side is we can, um, you might want to choose to start at the top or the bottom. I'll just loosen off my blade again. So starting at the front, I might push the blade all the way in and close that gap here so that there's no gap at the front meaty part of the blade, right on the meat. And I might tighten that up. And then lift it up until I get to the next part of the meat of the blade, push it in and tighten this screw up and then lifting up to this part of the blade and I'm pushing the back part of the under knife in and then I want to tighten this up and then finally towards the back depending on how much height I've got just loosen this off so that now once I've tightened up all these screws you can see that all the way along there's little or no gap there and if there is still a bit here I can loosen this off and you might want to do both sides at the same time. So unscrew the right hand side, unscrew and loosen the left hand side, pull the under knives out and then push them in and do both your front ones at the same time, your next ones, your next ones and do them at the same time, left and right. Um, just be careful, that's an exposed blade so of course you don't want to cut yourself. Uh, but try the method that I demonstrated here by starting with the blades down in the safe location and remove the under knives to do so. Finally, once you've got them all lined, give them a nice firm tighten up. And then with the blades down, put the, under, put the rebate supports back into their tracks and you should be ready to go. So that's how you can close the gap on your guillotine blades between the top blades and the under knives on your guillotine.